Let's explore and extend the coordinate plane. What do you notice about this coordinate plane? And what do you wonder? Pause the video now and take some time to think. Did you notice that there are no labels on the axes? How should we label the axes? The axis should be labeled with the standard X and Y variables. The horizontal axis is the X axis and the vertical axis is the Y axis. You may have also noticed that the scale for the coordinates is one along the X axis and along the Y axis. Let's continue talking about the points on the coordinate plane. Look at this seating chart. Monza says that Sarah is seated at 2, 4. Do you agree? Pause the video now and see what you think. Remember that the first coordinate in an ordered pair, which in this case is the 2, corresponds to the horizontal axis. And the second coordinate in the ordered pair corresponds to the vertical axis. It seems that Monse made the mistake of going up first and then four to the right. We actually start at the origin and go two units to the right and then four units up. We would end up at Eli's desk. If we made the mistake that Monse made and went vertical first and went two units up, and then four units to the right. We would land at Sarah's desk, but that would be incorrect. The first number is our X coordinate, so we move along the X axis. And the second number is our Y coordinate, so we move along the Y axis. You have learned how to graph the points on a coordinate plane when the coordinates were positive but you also know how to locate negative numbers on a number line. We're going to put these skills together. The points where the number lines intersect is the origin. The ordered pair for the origin is zero, zero. Let's describe the location of points A, B, C, D, E, and F. For each point, we will start at the origin and then either move left or right and then go up or down. So for A, we're gonna start at the origin and move three units to the right and four units up. My coordinate pair would be positive three and a positive four. For B, we move four units to the left, which makes it negative and then two units up, making our Y coordinate positive. The coordinate pair would be negative four, two. For C, let's start at the origin again. We will move five units to the left. Making our X coordinate negative and then three units down, making our Y coordinate negative. The coordinate pair would be negative 5, negative 3. For D, pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, for D, we're going to start at the origin and move 4 units to the right. That would be positive, And 2 units down. Positive 4 and negative 2. Now try E. Let's check your answer. Start at the origin. We move two units to the left and five units up. Our coordinate pair would be negative two, five. Last one, try F on your own. Let's check your answer. Always start at the origin, move three units to the right and then four and a half units down. Do you see that half? Our coordinate pair would be three and negative four and a half. On the previous slide, we found the ordered pairs to describe points on a coordinate plane. 
Remember that the x-axis and the y-axis intersect at the origin. And divide the coordinate plane into four quadrants. Quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Quadrant 1 has a positive x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate. Quadrant 2 is to the left of the origin and has a negative x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate. Quadrant 3 has a negative x-coordinate and because you go down, it's a negative y-coordinate as well. And quadrant 4 has a positive x-coordinate and a negative y-coordinate. Let's answer these questions. If a point has a negative x-coordinate, what quadrant could it be in? Pause the video and see if you can figure that out. Let's look at our x-coordinates. This has a positive, positive, negative, negative. It could be in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. If a point has a negative y-coordinate, what quadrant could it be in? Let's focus on the y-coordinate. It could be in quadrant 3 or quadrant 4. If a point has a positive x-coordinate, what quadrant could it be in? Positive x-coordinates would fall to the right of the origin. So it could be quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. Let's go back to the points from earlier. A is in quadrant 1. B and E are in quadrant 2. C is in quadrant 3. And D and F are in quadrant 4. The key takeaway from this lesson is that the coordinate plane is divided into four regions. The quadrants are numbered using Roman numerals. Start in the top right corner, quadrant one, moving to the left to quadrant two, then down to quadrant three, and to the right, quadrant four. We use the word quadrant to describe the four regions of the coordinate plane. The prefix quad means four, like quadrilaterals, or in Spanish, el numero cuatro. For today's goals, we want to be able to describe a coordinate plane that has four quadrants. We want to be able to plot points with negative coordinates in the coordinate plane, and we want to know what negative numbers in coordinates tell us.